guys starting the vlog it's not the morning I'm not even gonna lie and try to play like it is it's 3 30 in the afternoon um I've been up for a little while I woke up at two o'clock today you guys uh, trash um well I woke up earlier so I woke up at 9 30 and I was like in such a deep sleep and I answered a call from Dan we talked for a little while and I was like all right let me get up and then I was like, me, let's not. And then I took a nap from like 10 to two. So, um, you know, we're thriving. Our sleep schedule is all messed up, but it could be a lot worse. So right now I'm heading off to Target to pick up like a drive, it's called like a drive up pickup. I just don't know if I have to alert them that I'm on the way or what, I've never done this before. Tell us you're coming, okay, I'm on my way. SUV white done okay park by the drive up sign and then it says to say there's like a button that you click when you're here so um all right well that was fairly easy enough I just ordered uh some cleaning supplies I mean there was no disinfectant anything available I mean I have my one can of Lysol that I brought with me so that I can Lysol the bags and stuff when they get in the car but um yeah target is still well at least my target is still sold out of cleaning like disinfectant supplies like they had absolutely no Lysol spray um and I think only the bathroom cleaner version of the Lysol cleaner like the spray bottle so I'll show you guys what I got from target um when I get back home and everything is disinfected and my hands are clean but Yes, going there now. I wanted to pick up, a, I did order a bunch of nail polishes. I ordered like three nail polishes. I ordered two Essie ones and one Sally Hansen, but I guess the Essie ones were not in stock or it's probably hard for the shopper, whoever's shopping to like look for the nail polishes. So I absolutely understand. Um, but at least I got one nail polish. So now I have two in my collection and I'm planning on taking these guys off shortly today maybe I don't know they are starting to lift um so it's time to come off also I just picked my face with a blackhead extractor kit that I bought on Amazon like a couple years ago not a couple years ago I think I ordered it last year um it's like this little thing and it has a bunch of different little like extractors but the one that I love the most has this like really long sharp needle looking thing on the end of it and you just like pierce the pore with it and then you take the other end of it and just like put pressure and it makes the blackhead like pop up through the pore I'm obsessed so I've been like attacking my nose <laughs> I also have something on my eye I think it's called a Mila I don't, don't quote me on that but it's like a little blocked clogged pore any of my esthetician followers like Joanna hello I should be DMing you right now um, but I think it's just called a Mila and I think it's just from like excess moisture like too much eye cream basically and it just becomes like a little clogged pore duct so I was trying to get that out but I was too scared because it's close to my eye so I was like trying but then also not really giving it a hundred percent effort because I was scared um so yeah that's the plan it's already almost four o'clock and i'm still literal garbaggio today it is a gorgeous day though it's literally 65 and sunny it is beautiful like the perfect day it feels so good just to even be in the car during this like weather because it just it's gorgeous that's what's going on today okay guys i'm here this shit is what makes me super anxious like to be out here and see everybody sorry the lighting is bad the sun's right here but to be out here and like see everybody in masks and gloves it's just really scary like this is really what our world is right now i cannot even oh my god it's gonna send me into a panic attack it's really scary this is really scary i don't like it at all i'm so uncomfortable I'm so grateful for people who are still working right now like to make the world keep going in some aspect like people who work at target and grocery stores and people like my dad who are mailmen who are literally on the front line and nurses and doctors and um when, who am i forgetting <laughs> healthcare providers like literally everyone that is still out here working i'm so appreciative because i couldn't i know that i couldn't do it i would be entirely too anxious 
so i'm so thankful for you guys i appreciate you so much you guys should be getting like triple quadruple your pay right now i wish that's how it would go oh my god i'm so anxious i just want to leave <laughs> um so apparently i'm supposed to it says welcome to target we'll be out soon please wait in your car and keep this barcode handy so i'm just waiting here i don't know if i'm in the right spot there's like these little things right here that say drive up let me show you drive up things and you're supposed to park in front of them so i'm parked right here so i think that's good but then there's like i don't know a couple of different like those ones over there look more <laughs> like i don't know i think i'm gonna move around there's like police here too what the fuck this is so scary dude Um, yeah, that's my stuff right there. Hi, I think those are mine. Gabriella? Fortunato? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You could stick it on the top shelf too, whatever's easier. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much again. Okay, that was easy. I'm so appreciative for the people like her who are still doing this. Um, all right, so yeah, what I was trying to say is like, this is just so fucking crazy. Excuse my language, but what the I feel like I've been a little bit sheltered from this because I truly have not gone to any public places since this whole thing, like since I went to ShopRite weeks ago. Um, and like literally every single person has a mask on and gloves and it's just so crazy. Like this literally, I need to get out of here. Have you guys ever read the book? Oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's about yellow fever. Like I'm pretty sure I don't know. I know that my entire like school had to read it. I think this was in like either elementary school or middle school. I don't really remember, but it was about the s yellow fever. I think it was called. Dude, I don't know, but this is like some crazy, crazy shit. Not to cause any more anxiety. So let me end this right here because I don't want to spread my anxiety onto everybody else. Which, if I have, I apologize. Uh, but um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking so I can not spread negativity. All right guys, so update. I am in my room now. I disinfected all of my Target stuff. It's all still sitting on my counter. I didn't put it away yet, but I will show you before I put it away. Let me turn this TV down. Um, I just edited the vlog. It is exporting out of iMovie, then I'll be uploading it. So I think I'm going to try to do the eyelashes now. And my room has the most natural sunlight right now, so let's try. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I've attempted these before, and they looked a little crazy, so I don't know if they're going to look better now. I saw somebody, like, give a little tip that you should do it underneath your eyelashes. So, like, underneath here. I don't know. We'll see. This is the thing I was talking about, that little clogged pore that's white that I was trying to get out. But, yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, so I'm not gonna like film this as an actual video because I don't know how it's gonna go. However, if this goes well and I like the way it turns out, maybe I'll film like a how to do your own fake eyelash extensions. These are not single eyelash, like individual eyelash extensions by any means. These are cluster lashes and you know, you don't want to apply them with like actual eyelash extension glue because that can be super damaging because they are heavier than single eyelashes. So, um, but because we all are kind of in the same predicament of not being able to see your lash techs or nail techs or hairstylists or whatever the case may be, let's just try this. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We have to take it off. I mean, no, the worst that could happen is probably us going blind, but um, let's not even go there. We're not going there. <laughs> uh, so I have, I'm just going to show you what I have and then I'm just going to wing it. I'll probably do this like sped up and see what happens. But this is the 
Ardell Professional Individual Multi-Pack. Ardell Duralash Not Free Flares in medium black. Um, so I have a medium length one and then I also have a double flare long. So you can see these are a little bit more dramatic. Um, yeah, these are called the Double Up Ardell Knotted Double Flares in Long. So clearly these are a little bit more dramatic. So I don't know. We're going to see. And then the glue that I have is the Ardell Lash Tight for Individual Lashes. So this is not like your strip lash adhesive. This is meant to stay on for about a week to two weeks, I believe. Um, and it's just the clear one. They do have a dark one as well. But I picked this one up from Amazon. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to try my best to do this. And I guess I'll let you guys know how it goes when it's done. <laughs> um, this is my before. These are my lashes. And let's get started. guys update I've clearly done one of my eyes I had to stop because um, my cousin Michelle FaceTime me and we ended up talking for like half an hour but it didn't take me that long um how do they look for my first time I don't think it's too bad <laughs> I don't know what do you think I don't think it looks too bad I mean like I said for my first time I think I need to put one right there so at first I was mixing like switching off between the medium and the long and then I decided that I liked the long all together so I think I need to go back and like put a long one right there but um let me show you from the top so you really can't tell from the top um so what I did was I just went underneath here and put them there so if you look underneath that's how you can tell where I put them um yeah I definitely need one right there so I added that one extra that I love I think it's good now so i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye but this is obviously the before and that's the after again i'll look down not bad and this literally cost me like ten dollars for the glue and the individuals i mean i don't know how long they'll last clearly we'll see together but um, i'm not gonna get my face wet tonight because typically when you get lash extensions you don't want to wet your face for 24 hours so i won't get my face wet i won't go I won't like take a night shower or anything um so we'll just let it kind of cure okay guys i'm done i just put on this full set of cluster lashes and i think they look pretty good for me doing them myself um uh i'll look down <laughs> kind of deceased by myself we'll, we'll see how long they last i don't really know um I mean, I'm assuming like maybe a week, but that's still pretty good. And I still have like plenty of lashes left. So basically I ended up using more of the long ones than the um, natural medium ones. But these ones, the natural ones are more, they were definitely more easy to put on than the double up knotted ones. Um, so I used these basically for the whole thing. And then I just used the mediums for like the inner corner part of it. That's what I did. I don't know. I mean, if these last long and you guys want to see like a video on exactly how to do it, maybe I'll do a video on it. But I mean, for quarantine eyelash extensions, they're doing the job. So anyways, I'm starving. It's now eight o'clock. I started this at 530. But then again, I took like a phone call from Michelle for like a half an hour to 40 minutes. And then Dan called me. We talked for like 15 minutes. So I would say it probably took, it took me like an hour and a half. And that's also because when it comes to like me doing things on my left side, I don't know what it is with my brain, but like I have the hardest time. So whether that's like me painting my nails or doing um, eyeshadow or eyeliner, whatever the case is, like I always have a hard time doing it on my left side. So, um, yeah, I would recommend using like a really magnifying mirror. This one lights up. So what I did was I put this on the back of my camera tripod. I broke my vanity mirror, not my big one, but like my little one that had the magnifying glass. So I couldn't really sit up close to it. So I had nowhere to really do it. So I used the back of my camera cause this is a suction cup and suctioned it to the back of the viewfinder and the tripod and kind of did it that way. So I was able to look into it also i lifted 
my lashes like this so I could put them on the underside. That's sorry if this grosses you guys out. <laughs> okay, gonna go make dinner because it's eight o'clock. I'm starving. I think I'm gonna make some veggie pasta, that bird's eye microwave veggie pasta, and just put a little Alfredo sauce on it and call it a day. Good morning, guys. Um, I can actually say it's morning because I'm out of bed before noon. It's 9:30. Um, <laughs> Tuesday morning, but I wanted to show you what I got from Target. I never put it away yesterday because I just didn't, don't know, just didn't feel like it. Um, so I'm going to put it away now, but I wanted to show you what I got. And then, uh, side note, the lashes ended up, like, I, they slept, I slept on them pretty well, or like, they held up pretty well during sleeping. And I'm a hard sleeper. I sleep on my side, I sleep on my stomach, I don't ever sleep on my back, so that means the lashes are getting, like, you know pushed and stuff so they stayed pretty well um of course i know this is not the healthiest thing for your lashes because the cluster lashes are heavier than the single applied lash extension so it's definitely not something you can wear like all the time all the time but i think it's okay for the time being um all right so <laughs> My pompous grass, or whatever this is, I'm getting so many different comments that we don't have pompous in the Northeast, and whatever, so I don't know if that's pompous or not, but I like it. <laughs> I'm currently trying to have it dry out here. I'm going to spray it with some hairspray later, but this is what I got from Target. So I just picked up some plastic forks because when I placed the order, I wasn't sure when the plumber was going to be able to get here. He's coming today at 4.30, by the way, but... And I got some paper plates. How cute are these little paper plates? They're for children, but I thought they were too cute. So, got them. Um, and plastic forks. I picked up uh, Lola some toys because she's been going crazy too. This is just like a little mini rope. And then I ordered this. Well, you guys saw that I did the drive up. And so, like, I ordered this online. I didn't realize how big it was. It's really big. Like, look at the dogs that are holding it. It's not focusing. But they're Rottweilers and a Labrador. So, I think this is probably too big for her. But I'm going to let her see. It's not heavy. So, anyways, I picked that up. I picked up this this pack of Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. It has a couple different types in there. Um, I really wanted it for the bath ones because they were totally sold out of the bath ones. I've never really tried them. So I wanted to try them so I could scrub my tub today. Um, so I got that. It has extra durable, extra durable ones, kitchen ones, and bath ones. Then I picked up these little Febreze small spaces things. I don't know, air fresheners that I'm gonna put in the bathroom. I picked up some dog cleaner because, you know, dogs have been having an accident. <laughs> um, I picked up my carpet cleaner. This is the Resolve Pet Expert Stain and Odor Remover. There's not really stains and odors, but I just like to get one that has, like, pet stuff in it because, I mean, why not? So I picked that up. I picked up a regular one, too. That's just for, like, high traffic areas. So I picked that up. Love these. Love the Resolve little foams. I was able to get one nail polish. So this one is Sally Hansen Insta Dry in the shade On My Gray. And obviously it's just like a nice little gray color. So when I take my nails off, I'll probably try putting this on. But luckily there was one. I ordered three, but there was only that one in stock. Um, I got some Febreze for the air. And then I just picked up some wet dog food for the dogs. Oh, and a shirt. <laughs> Little t-shirt crop top that I thought would be perfect for this time where it's like super cash and it's kind of cropped so it probably would look really cute with sweats. So got that from Wild Fable in a 3X for $8. And that's my super exciting Target haul. Not that exciting. Um, basically just cleaning supplies. So yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I love you guys. I hope you're all hanging in there, having a good day, trying to be positive. I wasn't the most positive yesterday when I was filming at Target, so I apologize, but sometimes shit happens. Um, so yeah, I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.